A gay person, when I say gay, men and women, okay? A gay person who still wants to attend church after the way the church has treated the gay community, I'm telling you, they have more faith than I do. They have more faith than a lot of you. A gay person who knows, you know what? I might not be accepted here, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Have you ever done that as a straight person? Do you, where do you go that you're not sure you're gonna be accepted and you go over and over and over and over? Only your in-laws house. That's the only place you go where you know you're not completely accepted, but you go over and over and over and it's because you have to. But other than the in-laws, what environment do you continue to step foot in knowing at any moment you may feel ostracized? No place, I'm telling you, the gay men and women women who grew up in church and the gay men and women who've come to faith in Christ as adults who want to participate in our church. Oh my goodness. I know 1 Corinthians 6 and I know Leviticus and I know Romans 1. It's so interesting to talk about all that stuff, but just, oh my goodness, a gay man or woman who wants to worship their heavenly father who did not answer the cry of their heart when they were 12 and 13 and 14 and 15, God said no, and they still love God. We have some things to learn from a group of men and women who love Jesus that much and who wanna worship with us. And I know the verses, I know the clobber passages, right? We gotta figure this out. And you know what? I think you are.